It would be amazing to have a sauna, an outside sauna that's right next to a frozen lake, like the way they do it. Oh, yeah. They cut a hole in the lake and then get the party started. So what we did, I went, I visited the sauna society and um, it was in November, so it was cold and um, it's right on a lake. And so they have like, the day I went, it was not co-ed day. So, um, the you know, it's only women saunas that I went in. There was like, it was like sectioned off. But so you go and you do these different, they have all these different types and I don't remember. And they're like whipping each other with like birch wood, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. which um, it's Branches. interesting. Yeah. yeah the, the Russians like to do that they, too. <laughs> they call it the banya. That's, right, the Russian banya. Yeah, they beat each other with this these branches that are wet. So, it's okay, weird. let me tell you my story. Okay, anyways, they okay. jump in the lake and yes. then they go back and they're doing this. Right. So, here's my, did I ever tell you my crazy story? Fun which, story about Finland? Which crazy story? So, I have a, fr there's a friend, he's a friend. He's, you know, he's, some of your friends are a little eccentric, right? Well, this guy, he's got, he's got, um, a, you know, huge um, property in, in like the country, in the woods, like in, in Finland. And this is like the first time I ever went camping and it was like snow camping. It was crazy. It was like the worst thing ever. Like he had, a, <laughs> he had us do this like, there was like two tents and, and it was a conference that I, I gave a talk at. And so there, some people paid extra to like go to this event that, that was after it. So there was like 30 or so people there and they were all, from all around the world. There was only like three Americans, me, Dan, and some other guy. Uh, no, four Americans, I think. But anyways, um, it was my first time camping like outside, like not in like, like I, I've been to Yosemite, but I like stay in a cabin. You know, I don't like <laughs> right. sleep in a tent. Right. So, but, so it wasn't a great experience because one, there was this guy who snored all night. Two, because it was snow camping, we had to like, there was some weird th fire thing and he was, in the, this guy was in the military. And so he had us do this thing where er like everyone in, had to wake up at, I forgot what it was every hour. Someone, was, you had to pass this thing. Oh, so you're in a big wall tent. We were in a big, I don't know what it was called, but I didn't sleep the whole night and it was awful. Oh. But here's my sauna experience. So he um, doesn't believe in, you can't wear like swimsuits or anything in the sauna. So you have to be like, you have to wear no clothes or if you, if you really wanted, you could wear a towel, like if you were modest or whatever. Because to them, it's like, you know, no big deal. The sauna, you just, you don't wear any clothes. I never buy there. that. I, I think they're just Okay, freaks. so they were telling, I know. They told me, they told me, that, oh no, the sauna is an asexual place. And I'm like, really? Get the really? Fuck out of You're here. a human There's being. Humans in there. I know. Yes. So, so, so only three <laughs> people wore a towel me, Dan, and this other American. Mm. And so everyone was in there naked, lots of like, there weren't that many females, um, but there were some from, I don't know, the UK or in some German, I don't know. But they were all naked. Like, it was like, I guess Europeans are like that, you know, like they're more used to it. Or that's what someone was telling me. I don't know what the, what the case is. But anyways, I had people coming up to me going, I love your podcast and this. I'm like, I'm not going to get naked? naked before, like at oh, the conference. No. And they were there. And you like you think I'm going to be naked, like in the sauna with someone <laughs> who's like, <laughs> I mean. A podcast you know. fan. Yes. Oh, my yes. God. They're in your so, face. <laughs> So anyways, I'm in the sauna, everyone's naked. And then he the and and the guy who's my friend, okay, he's still my friend. He's he's an interesting guy, but he had like people come and started doing yoga. So like and they're oh, naked too. Jesus. <laughs> people are totally naked. They're doing downward and they're doing dog. Yeah, they're naked. Doing yoga. Wonderful. Get out so of here. So that was like my my first Finnish sauna experience where it was Some like... Some people are too open-minded. <laughs> yeah. They really are when it comes to things like that. I was just happy. It was like, you yeah. can wear a towel if you want. Because he has well, this I whole... I wouldn't do it. I'd be like, get out of here. You're not staring at my junk. Yeah, so then I went... They were all jumping in the <laughs> lake after and I'm like... I'm going to just sit on this patio. It's freezing out here in Finland in November. Yeah. I'm not going to take my towel off and jump in the, the lake for... Like, for wear a swim <laughs> Why can't you wear a swimsuit? Why? Says who? Like, what is the difference? There's zero difference in the benefits of it. He it's some cultural claims, thing? It's a cultural thing, and also he claimed that there's, like, toxins being released from oh, the... Oh, one of those assholes. Yes. Fuck <laughs> off, buddy. I got a swimsuit on. <laughs> and then, okay, the yoga was bad. It got worse. Then he had some he had some whipping technique with the birch wood, and he, he wanted, like, to demonstrate it, so he had, like, one of the Britain girls, like, and she was just laying... I mean, it was just, like, oh, it was too much. Like, it, the, here's the Here's the truth. Like I was hot as fuck, right? So all I I didn't care anymore. Like I cared about my towel, but I didn't care what was going on. I was trying not to look at everyone, you know. Right. Like I didn't want to see. Like you know, I'm married. Like I don't right. want to see everyone's stuff. Well, people get you know? sexual too because it's hot and sweaty, and if this guy's <laughs> like, got, it sounds like he's a little a bit of a cult leader, <laughs> yeah. right? Like someone, everyone needs to be naked. Someone, oh, okay. 
That's Someone how it was starts. asking me that because he passed out like this flyer because it's like we were doing all these events, you know, all these events were happening, mm-hmm. and this flyer passed out, and it was like we were reading it, and I was like. It says you have to, you can't wear any clothes or swimsuit or anything. Because I had packed my swimsuit. I was like, yeah, I'm going to wear my swimsuit in the sauna, you know. You can't tell people they can't wear clothes. You just... This is his own home sauna, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> How convenient. But you could wear a towel, so. Mm, great. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah, all that toxins talk, too. As soon as someone's talking about cleansing toxins, we're like, fuck off. I was, like, so put off with the toxins stuff. Like, it's funny because the sauna... Like, that's, like, the one, like, for years, like, all the benefits about sauna were always about toxins, right? Yeah. Right? They're always right, toxins, like, toxins. What are you talking about? Like, show me what you're saying when you're talking about, you're talking about just regular sweat? But it does. You sure. do actually, you do. Through regular you do, sweat. Regular sweat. It doesn't have to be from sauna. It right. could be from exercise. Yes. But you do you do sweat out certain compounds, like aluminum. Aluminum's mm-hmm. like, it's funny that you, you can actually excrete certain con- compounds better from sweat than urine. Because that's another way of eliminating things mm-hmm. is through urine. But, yeah. um... Mer- uh, aluminum, cadmium, and there's one other that I don't remember. S- sweat is like the best way to get to but get rid of that. it's just the conversations you have with people that are into releasing toxins. It's like you're, I know. you're talking mumbo jumbo talk most of the time. I try not. I'm trying not to judge. Like I really do. You should judge. <laughs> but I have a hard time. You should. When they start to go there, I'm like. Oh, you no, should have I? a hard time, <laughs> and you should judge. <laughs> I do. <laughs> But I try not to. Well, it's just they say things that they don't really know what the fuck they're talking about. And they say it with such authority. And I've had those conversations in public saunas before, too, where uh, people are people uh, like they start getting into the toxins and the mm. whole sauna. And, and like, I'm just sitting there quiet. And I'm just like, OK, let me start to tell you some benefits, like some real benefits. Cardiovascular. Did you know that it actually mimics exercise? Like literally, like that's been shown. It's been like compared like 25 minutes in the sauna, 25 minutes on a stationary bike. And same things are happening, you know, like blood pressure goes down afterwards, heart rate variability improves, Mm. you know, so same things are happening. You're increasing plasma volume, heart rate increases, core temperature increases, right? Yeah. Exercise is doing the same thing. That's the antidepressant effect like that I feel from the sauna um, that Charles Raison published, you know, and that uh, Dr. Dr. Mason will hopefully carry on the torch. Um, I think it's real. And I think that there's. There's potentially multiple mechanisms, immune, you know, modulations, but also just the fact that like BDNF, you know, there's a study showing that hot baths do uh, increase BDNF and BDNF br- uh, brain derived neurotrophic factor, which How, why would you think everybody would know what that means? I know. I just I, <laughs> I thought everyone that listened to your podcast, <laughs> not everyone, there's millions of people. I don't even I know. know what it means. You do. But I do when you say We've, it. What, yeah, once you said t- it, I go, okay, yeah. Brain derived. BDNF, brain derived neurotropic factor. Yeah. What's so amazing about this neurotropic factor is that it's always thought about in the context of like brain aging because mm-hmm. it helps you grow new neurons. It's neurogenesis, it helps us uh, already existing neurons survive. But there's studies now showing that it regulates what's called neuroplasticity which is like the ability, like your brain, your brain changes, you know, with the changing environment, but you have mm-hmm. to be able to adapt to that, right? Like children are really good at that. Like they have a lot of neuroplasticity, um, but neuroplasticity is, it's associated with depression. Like not, like not being able, like stressful conditions and stuff like that, like not being able to like adapt. I'm mm. not using like the best of terms, but neuroplasticity is something along those lines. And so, and, and BDNF plays a role in that. And BDNF has been shown to be, you know, to increase with exercise and also uh, with heat stress. I'm glad.